I've pulled together a few of the items from the subway scene that I like, that I feel could make a little bit of a scene because the entire subway scene is just far too big <laughs> for uh, the amount of time that I have right now. And for what I wanted to do, which was to try out that Smudger Pro Blender add-on, and it's just not working for the large scenes. So I have some, some thoughts about the add-on that I'll share here and there, um, but I'm gonna continue using it uh, to try to either uh, make materials um, pretty much on their own and, and uh, sort of texture them with that or with Blender, uh, some stuff like that. So anyways, uh, this is what I've got, all right? And if we have a look at this, I had done the desk and added some, you know, some dust and some scratches to this thing. And I worked on the fan. I just changed it to black for now. Um, I did the lamp and the ashtray. And I'm just going to go on with this more simplified uh, sort of scene. And we'll see where we get. And I'm going to reuse materials when I can as well. So uh, I'm just going to carry on right now here with this stamper thing. All right, and I've got my materials open here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that ashtray black there. And I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to choose this part of it. And I'm going to choose that fan gold part right there. And we're going to do that. And we're going to do some similar stuff over here. I'm going to grab the paper thing. Put on the ashtray block. I'm going to put that on there as well. And I think for the bullets, we're going to choose that silver. Not overly visible, but just sort of moody in the background there. Okay, we got that. Now, I'm going to do the, uh, let's do the fences here. Let's go in and let's try just uh, Smart UV Project with a little bit of island space, not that it would really matter, I don't think in this case. And let's try the desk wood. Um, let's not use the scene lights for now. That is probably gonna be just fine, as you can see. All right, for what I want to do. You, Smart UV Project. For these simple objects, it doesn't, you don't always have to UV unwrap them in any complicated way. Uh, I want it to look a little bit like a computer game, a little kind of cartoony, and that's that's okay with me. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's see, I guess I gotta select all of these guys. Well, I could do it other ways, but we'll do it this way. All right, and for that, I'm gonna choose that silver. may have missed a piece inside we'll see is there another piece in there that's the question so let's hide that I think there's one more no okay so let's put the scene lights back on uh, we'll need some more light back there, won't we? To see this. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take this light. Let's put it there. Let's have a look at, at how this is going so far. Okay, this is what we come up with. We can work on lighting uh, later. My fences are pretty quick. This part here, that. All right, so let's, let's work on, on the paper now.
I want to start with a piece that is nice and straight like this piece here and what I think I'm going to do is let's just come in and look at the top and face selection and select all of this stuff right here I'm going to press U and project from view go into my UV editor we'll come over and focus on that and look dev actually there okay so there's my my piece now before I do anything with that I'm going to open some stuff that I got from the internet and see what would work here now over here I'm going to hit this hit S scale and I may actually scale this in the X but let's have a look at at this so I'm going to now switch over to the shading tab and come over to the paper I'm going to click new I'll call this um, paper one and all I've got is the principal BSDF on the shift A texture image texture This is the image right here. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to come in uh, to that face that's selected and assign. Now, I may assign it to the whole thing. Let's try that. It'll bleed over to the sides, but I think that'll be okay. I'm not sure I really need all that stuff though, but maybe I will. All right, so here's what we have. So let's go back to the UV. And just think about that. Let's GNX. Let's see what happens if I slide it over just a little bit. It's probably going to be okay. So that could be a document there. Let's come over to this guy here. And do a similar thing. Just select the top. What am I missing? That one there. It's a little, little. Let's rotate this a bit. select paper one but do that and call this paper two All right. and let's open uh, the coca-cola one hmm. we get slightly different colorations of these which may or may not bother me I don't know it's probably okay like that um, Let's try just copying that down. this one and take this one 
copy it over to here. I'll make a copy of this and I'll call this paper three. And uh, maybe all I have to do is come over here. Try what am I not? Doing? Let's see what this looks like. I can uh, I can go ahead and rotate this. Yeah, I can have slightly different shades of paper. I think. I think I can work on the colors for that later too. For Let's see, because they're you know not very visible anyhow. Um, what about doing anything to this um, here? What what would I want to do? Smudges. It may not be very visible. Here, oh, a little bit. And I like that. I'm leaving it. But this one looks like it already has some smudges. So we'll just do that. Yeah, you know, like this one might uh, add, sm add smudges. I'm not seeing much. Let's try um, a different one. something else on this what about dust mm. what if I change the dust color to black multiplier now four yeah, there's a little bit of discoloration on that I'll just leave the other one okay well, so that does something. That definitely does something. Where does that leave us now? Okay, I'll leave this. Um, I was just thinking for the pill. Let's just make a new material. I'll call this pill um, red. And um, I'll start this off like this. I'll do that color. I might go back to that green. No, I'll do this um, pill white. to make a few of these sort of like this is like a border crossing whatever and either you're caught with drugs or you're given drugs I don't know uh, on lighting later all right there's our little scene so far um, I may copy this pill here I may put one of over there and we'll see if this guy is getting busted at the border or or who knows what the story is we'll come back and we'll do the uh, coffee cup and this and then we'll look at the scale of some of these things if they need to be bigger maybe these papers are a bit small uh, maybe this pill is a bit big and we'll just touch it up a little bit and i think i'll leave it at that for this experiment